If you're allergic to chocolates, do you know what actually causes the allergy? Any guesses? Um, at least give it a try. Cocoa, maybe? Or maybe some other ingredient? Hmm. Well, the answer is not going to be something you'll like to hear. It could be the roaches. <gasps> yes, you heard it right, the roaches. That's because the average chocolate bar contains eight insect parts. And believe it or not, that's far below the FDA's limits. But for people with cockroach allergies, this can cause cramps, itching, and migraines. In fact, a study showed that in most cases of chocolate allergies, insect parts are the real culprit. And if that bugs you, sorry, there's not much you can do about it. Cockroaches get mixed in with cocoa beans during harvesting and are common in all brands of chocolate. But hey, look on the bright side. Bugs are a great source of protein. Since we are talking about chocolates, did you know the first chocolate bar was made in 1847? Before that, chocolate was mostly a drink. But it wasn't the hot chocolate you're used to. For example, chocolate drinks were popular in the Mayan and Aztec cultures, but they were frothy and bitter. Eventually, the drink made its way to Europe where it was mixed with some sweeter ingredients like sugar. Then, an English chocolatier named Joseph Fry made a breakthrough. He mixed cocoa powder, sugar, and melted cocoa butter. The result was solid chocolate. That's like solid gold, baby. He started mass producing chocolate bars called Fry's Chocolate Cream. They were a big hit, and they led to all the varieties of chocolate bars we have today. Clearly, we should all remember Joseph Fry as the greatest inventor of all time. Well, enough about chocolates. Now let's move on to something nostalgic. Remember Super Mario Brothers from the 90s? Did you ever wonder how Mario got his name? Well, he's named after a landlord. When Nintendo was just starting out, it was using a warehouse as its American headquarters the company got behind on its rent payments, prompting an angry visit from their landlord, Mario. The developers decided to immortalize their landlord by naming the character after him. Before that, they had been using the name Jumpman. And you have to admit, Mario Brothers is a lot catchier. Jumpman just doesn't have the same ring to it. By the way, can you make a guess on how much storage space the game took? Well, it's probably way beyond your imagination. For a reference, take a look at this picture. Can you spot something unusual in the painting? No? Let's zoom in on it. Now? And now? Just kidding. There's nothing unusual about this painting. Gotcha! <laughs> Psych! The point is, the above image is 200 kilobytes, and Super Mario Brothers took only 40 kilobytes of space. Yes, you heard it right, only 40 kilobytes! Crazy to think that a classic game with so many levels is only a fraction of the size of one of today's typical images. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Wow! Want some more? Yes! Okay, let's dive deeper. What if I tell you the internet has something to do with the oceans? Can you guess a correlation between them? This is the easiest one. Think harder. Okay, one hint. It has something to do with internet speed. Got it? No? Okay. The internet relies on undersea cables to connect different parts of the world. There are about 380 cables and they span a total length of over 1 million kilometers. Sometimes, the cables get damaged by things like ship anchors or fishing nets. But there's another problem you might not expect. Sharks that try to eat the cables. It's such a big problem that Google has begun developing a Kevlar-like material to protect cables from shark bites. So next time your internet's down, you know who to blame. Okay, let's have some fun now. Do you remember the music video Tunak Tunak Tun from India that went viral? 
The video features four men, all played by Mendy, the singer, and there's a very interesting story behind it. Mendy has been criticized in the past for featuring beautiful women in his videos. Some critics said the eye candy was the only reason his videos became popular. In response, Mendy created this video that featured only himself. It was a huge hit in India and became an internet meme around the world. It's also one of the most expensive music videos ever made, with a whopping $1.29 million budget when adjusted for inflation. Pretty surprising, isn't it? Anyway, I love this song. And the best part? The dancing came naturally. If you're still watching this video, that means you must be enjoying it. For all the folks who've stuck with us so far, here's the last and the best one. Frayn Salak is called the luckiest unlucky man in the world. Yeah, you heard it right. The luckiest unlucky man. He's had many near-death experiences, but he always survived. Here are a few of them. In 1962, he was on a train that fell into an icy river. All 17 of the other passengers died. In 1963, he was on a plane when the door malfunctioned. He got blown out of the plane and landed on a haystack. The plane crashed and 19 people died. In 1966, he was on a bus that crashed into another icy river. Four passengers died. At this point, I think I should point out that there's no evidence that Salak is a supervillain who's causing accidents, but I sure wouldn't want to travel anywhere with him. But to continue, in 1970, his car burst into flames, and he barely escaped before it exploded. And he had three more close brushes with death. In 2003, he won $1 million in the lottery. The luckiest unlucky man in the world is still alive today at age 90. That's all, folks. If you enjoyed this new format of narrating facts, please do let us know in the comments section below. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.